Good morning and welcome to another quick lesson. Don't forget, don't forget, don't forget to hit like and subscribe because it helps this channel. Um, and I hope I get a few followers soon. Anyway, today I'm going to put that in the middle. Welcome to my new Les Paul Custom, the Epiphone one, but with the Gibson headstock and the Gibson humbuckers and the updated pots, the volume controls, etc. etc. Anyway, today's lesson is only going to use two fingers this one and the ring finger. Okay? What I want you to do is put your index finger across the fifth fret, press and see if we can get this. going to get this though. Or something like it. Make sure your thumb's in the middle at the back pressing and you're going to be pressing too hard at the start and it's really going to hurt your fingers. But anyway, here's the lesson. First finger actually is on the fourth fret and your ring finger is on the A string. That's the second thickest. And that is on the sixth fret. And what we're going to do, we're going to hit the top strings and we're going to slide it up. So we're not going to hit it twice, we're going to hit it once and slide up. Okay, do that again. You can either go up stroke or down stroke, but all you want to hit at the end is the top thinnest strings. So we do hit the bottom strings and slide up. Okay. Now the next chord, I'm going to start on the fourth again, but this finger now is going to be on the D string. I hope you know these strings by name by now. Change back. And then the last one, we're on the D string again. See what I did there? So let's start on the fourth and slide up. I'm going to do this four times, okay? Move, change. And you do that twice. again with that one. Now move to that one and we're going to go up to the 5th, 6th, 7th fret. So here it is all the way through without me stopping. Now there is another chord we can put in there, which is this one. Um, okay, so let's put that one in right at the end and see what it sounds like.
that's a complete tune. Um, your hand will be hurting along here and across here. But don't panic. The more you play this, the stronger your muscles will get and it won't hurt. Now also, I don't know whether you worked this out or not, but also I'm leaving my fingers off the string. So instead of going like this, Okay, I'm taking my fingers just slightly off. So it cuts it off. Anyway, that's the lesson for today and I hope you um I hope you practice that a lot. Don't forget. And it's going to hurt. I know it is. But as long as you can... Your hand will get to know how hard to press if you keep practicing. So you don't have to, you know, really hammer it down. Anyway, that's it for today. Um, happy strumming.